Hello everybody, my name is Ravinder Shokar, I'm a BCIT student. Um, we've been sponsored by City of Studio and work with the City of Vancouver to create a conduit asset management system for the Traffic Electrical Operations Department. Our goal of our app is to make an application that allows for quicker infrastructure upgrades of outdated conduit while also making better decisions to create more equitable infrastructure in our city. The P in Spark stands for problem. At the onset of the project, the City of Vancouver is manually uploading all its conduit information into a giant Excel file. In addition to being time consuming, the file format was simple and inflexible. As the City of Vancouver grows, it needs to tackle more and more complex problems. Two, scalability. We designed our application to work with various asset management systems, such as Hanson and ArcGIS. That way, as the city's assets grow, so can our application. R stands for replicable. Our project has been heavily tested. It is unique because it can be used as a template for other cities and departments. A stands for assurance. The city would have large cohesive projects instead of small disjoint ones. This provides less disruption in downtime and is easier to maintain. And C is for contribution. As we built the app, we realized we can decrease the overall requirements of construction in the city of Vancouver. This is because instead of city of Vancouver staff worrying about managing the data they have, they can use the data to actually solve problems. Also, this is the big one, if the overall infrastructure of the city increases, especially the conduits, we can increase the overall equitability of the city as well. And next steps, a user interface and deployment. Thanks for listening.